I wonder if this is even worth it for the Amplified Healing. It's on sale. I'm gonna take it just because it's on sale. And I think we're just focused food here. Might be better. All right. Meh. <laughs> Meh start. Going against a ranger. I mean, if we can out heal their DPS while they're stand locked, we should be fine. And it seems like that's exactly what's going to happen. Yep. Nice. Good game. More space. Healing herb. Garlic. Both a W. More space. I'll take that. And we'll just roll with this. Berserker with a forging hammer. Okay. I think we win. I think our DPS is better. This thing is so slow. At least it doesn't use stamina. It makes sense for it to be slow, I guess. Food build early game. Yeah. It's working, though. It's working. The survivability. Purchase that as well. Um, let's see here. What can we do? Do that. If I purchase this garlic, I could put you here. And I can roll. I should probably have gotten that health potion, honestly, but it's okay. It's probably the best spot. Um, I don't really need either one of these. Let's just do that. Ah, uh, I guess, I guess. Just for the healing is amplified. I can put those inside of my caps. And that can help us, so. It's the only reason I bought that right there. Just a wooden sword and no activations on your Goobert. It's a perfect person to go against. Perfect person. It's the slowest battle ever. But it's working. <laughs> Good game. Another one? I got that one too. Could invest into another Nana, but I kind of want region more than anything right now. And let's just get a combination off here. We don't really need to buy space, actually. I think we're solid on space. What we need now is a Mana Thirst or a Hunger Blade, so... We should probably hard roll for that. Might lose this one. Gonna get a Burning Torch. And Dracoonic Orb, he's gonna start critting us soon. Which is gonna suck. Actually, no, he's not gonna crit us, because he's not gonna get 15. But the damage is still there! Damn it. Good game. All right. Mm, I'm actually going to pass up on that blueberry. Roll. Space on sale. Roll. Flute on sale. This on sale. I like both of those. But I need a hungry blade. And I need it kind of now. I need it kind of now. be better right there we're missing four missing four i guess it doesn't matter hungry blade i'll take the dagger actually hungry blade me game please it's a good thing i don't have a weapon i don't have to worry about stamina <laughs> On the flip side, this flute is pretty much only helping me with, um, with block. Which I guess is better than nothing, considering what's happening right now. I also don't have to worry about blind and missing. Oh no, this is not looking good. God damn it. Should I, I should probably pick up the storm whip, actually. Yeah. It'll help. With my hungry blade situation, anyways. Um, where am I putting you? Actually, no, I'm gonna buy this. I could just put you right there. Best spot ever. Alright, at least we got a former DPS now. It's not a bad former DPS either. Man, he's gonna be able to get to 100 block. At least our spikes are just gonna keep on getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Plus that combined with the poison is good. And now your block doesn't matter. And we win! Good game. Damn. Oh, 
Thank you so much. Do I have enough money in order to afford to purchase you? Actually, no, I don't need you. That on sale is kind of nice. Um, I don't think I do. Unless I sell food. That's like the only way. I'd have to start selling food. Is it worth it though? Was that 2-4? With a garlic maybe? Oh, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happened. It's happened. I may have regrets, potentially. This is probably better, actually. That way I can do that. All right, cool. Um, you could just go there with your friends. Should I get this? Actually, you know, yeah, I'll get that. It's on sale. I might as well. I don't think it's going to hurt me. Come on, flute. Give me that stam. I'm going to need it. Thank you. Appreciate that. I don't know how much it's helping me, but it seems like it's helping me a decent bit, actually. I don't know if it's going to be enough. So freaking close. So freaking close. It's okay, though. Because now we have the Bloodthorn. And we got the Witch on... Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let me think. That changes the build. That changes the freaking build, man. At this point, we got to go infinite regeneration. We need an infinite generator, re infinite regeneration farm and make that bloodthorn as fast as humanly possible. While also having like maybe two blood daggers in there. That's the plan. That's the new plan. That's the new freaking plan. Which means we need a Whopper Tinger. Otherwise, we're not getting heat generation. Which will still work. Yep, that's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. Okay. Um, let's also buy you. I just need two blood daggers. That's all I need. That's the only reason I got those. Only reason. We can move you down by one so that you can go into a fanny pack like that. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to put you over here instead. Yeah. You go over there. Um, we're going to need Mr. Struggles to be on you as well. So that's going to have to be a thing. Mr. Struggles. Go right there. Or rather yet, like that. Other side of Mr. Struggles is probably going to be... Because I'm not getting heat or mana. So every three seconds doesn't matter for you. So I'm just going to use a dagger. Suppose. At least you're going to benefit a little bit. With our healing with vampirism. And the rest of the items, honestly, can just go in here. Oh, you benefit from food. It's your food item. I guess it's better for you, though. Man, choose for me. Poison Ivy or Mega Clover. For my Poison Dagger Hammer build, I have no source of spikes yet. I would go Poison Ivy. Only because I don't know how Mega Clover is going to benefit you from that. If you got a way, if you know how Mega Clover can benefit your poison dagger build, then let me know. Because I don't know of a way. Um, but yeah, that's what I would do. I would go Mega Clover, I guess. <laughs> this is decent so far. It's going for a double chili. I love it. It's also got the Burning Sword. Burning Sword is the only form of DPS, though. So that's good for us. All right, there goes all our vamp. We're looking pretty solid so far, but his heat's gonna keep on ramping, which means so is his DPS. Oh no! Even with that 100% faster from Mr. Struggles, we weren't able to do it. But on the bright side, we got ourselves a Whopper Tinger, which is a insta W for us, because that's gonna directly be able to feed into our Gingerbread Jerry, giving us even more regeneration, plus the maximum health, plus the empowerment for our daggers. All of that is awesome.
Very, very awesome. Very, very, very awesome. While we're here, I'm honestly considering getting another flute. Potentially. Maybe. Could be good. No, I'm not going to do it, actually. No. No flute, no flute, no flute. Um, we have to win this one, though. Piercing arrow. A little dangerous. I mean, he's got his infinite spike generator plus the claws of attack. But he's got no stamina to back it up. 20 health left. It's over with. Good game. Boom, let's pick you up. Let's put you right there. Um, I think we're pretty solid on space for the most part. Makes sense. I think Mega Clover is good on any build. It's free to go to per round, plus more sales, plus 40 buffs if you can reach high luck. But I think it has less potential than other options. I agree, actually, with that. That's a good point. Honestly, getting this could be good because I want to make my Bloodthorn as fast as possible. With that being said, I probably should have gotten that flute for the stamina generation for real. Yes! Jesus Christ. All right, anyways. um, I think I do get this, though. Likewise, I could give me a poison dagger. But... I'd rather have them be blood daggers. She wanted something. <laughs> get RK. Oh, me too. <laughs> me fucking too. Um, roll. I want the bird and the flute. I mean, I want the flute and the bird. I want the flute and the bird. How do I do that? I could easily just do that, but then all the buffs go away. Unless I just move all the buffs on the other side. Or I could just move the bird, like, here? And everything is still in there, technically, except that other dagger, which might be fine, actually. So we'll do that. Um, I could put you there instead. Put this over there for all those slots, I guess. And... We'll put the bird or the the bunny over there. Um, and fill this up with food items. I don't know how much I like that, but I think I'm gonna stick with it. The bird flew. I just wish I could point these the same way so they're affecting the same items the only downside is that the food isn't inside of that but that might be okay hopefully that's okay lightsaber and a molten spear with sun armor for the healing i think we're fine <laughs> good game i was concerned we're fine oh buddy now things are getting juicy now things are getting juicy um we got two options. The first option is getting a blood amulet. Honestly, we could do both. Let's get that blood amulet. Blood dagger. And we can sell you. And probably sell you. Honestly, we could probably sell the poison. To... You know what? Let's just sell the other garlic. Get misfortune. Um, let's put misfortune in that mix. And that'll do it, actually. As long as misfortune is fast clover generation is coming from the flute which we're gonna have to have a better clover generation than that but at least it's some clover generation honestly we're getting clovers from the whopper tinger too so we got double clover generation but we'll see we'll see we'll watch this battle closely see if that's enough clover generation for um for mrs fortune here i'll have to see so she she gained us two extra regeneration right there. Oh, we're doing infinite region, actually, now that I think about it. Because we we have Gingerbread Jerry. 
So we're focused on regeneration versus vampirism. But now we're going to start getting more vampirism than anything because Gingerbread Jerry isn't fast enough and the Whopper Tinger isn't fast enough, which is getting our uh, regeneration. So we got to focus on getting more regeneration somehow. A hard container could help with that, but then again, the hard container is going to use up seven of that regeneration itself, and that's probably just going to throw us off. So that's probably not the better play, which means the only other regeneration that we can rely on realistically would be getting another Whopper Tinger. I believe. Sell you probably should get another flute for the regeneration. So let's get that. I'm also going to cop another fanny pack. There goes that other Whopper Tinger. We're going to get you next round. Um, let's make this make a little bit more sense. Get you to be a little bit faster. And we can just move those two over by one. That still works. And for this flute, I don't know where to put you. Honestly. Technically, that would work. I mean, I guess I could do this. Or even this. What was that? Four slots? That's also four slots. Unless I put Gingerbread Jerry inside of the uh, the bird. It just depends on how fast this is. This is every five seconds, so... No matter what, it's going to be slower than Gingerbread Jerry. These rely on each other, but getting a double Whopper Tinger would be pretty much like getting three buffs every 2.5 seconds. So maybe it is better making this faster. I mean, it is already getting faster because of the Flying Arlet. Um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. On the bright side, we got a Blood Dagger now, so that's going to help us out a lot. All right, so we start with six regeneration. Bloodthorn's doing what the Bloodthorn does, turning into vampirism. Now we have more vampirism, which is actually bad because then we didn't get the clovers. So now we're not going to get infinite regeneration. Instead, we're going to get infinite vampirism, which still helps us, but it's just not as good, I don't think, or it's not what we wanted. <laughs> but I mean, still getting the uh, regeneration from Gingerbread Jerry is just going to help us in general. We're out of stamina now, though. We got stamina issues. Might have to figure out a way to put this flute inside of the bird since we're having stamina issues. Oh, damn, they came back to life. I mean, we should be fine. We got 27 vampirism. Our damage right now is 43 a second plus the healing, and it's only going to get higher from there. Good game. All right, what do we got? 17, 5, 6, 7. Perfect. Don't know where to put you, though. To be honest. I mean, I could just put you right next to that, and then you can just go there. That works. Yeah, that works. And you know what? I'm just going to move chair. Well, no, I can't move Jerry. Now without having an extra slot somewhere. Unless I move this down by one and put Jerry here. Probably here. That would work. A little bit less poison since the dagger's not going to be inside of the storage coffin. That might be fine. And honestly, getting the gloves of haste could be nice. I could put a gloves of haste here and make the blood thorn even faster. But at the same time, we have stamina issues. So maybe not. Could get another bird, though. I have to see. Um, hmm. Unless I get me another flute. Getting another flute wouldn't be bad. Just to, for a way to deal with that stamina. But then again, at the same time, the Whopper Teamers gave me stamina. And since I got a second one, that might be enough stamina generation. We'll just have to see how the stamina generation situation hands out this battle. And they're also got the freaking Staff of Fire. Looks like we're going to be gaining infinite re uh, vampirism again. We do get a lot of, of uh, regeneration, though, which is great. Get a lot of regeneration just from um, from Gingerbread Jerry. Which is like two different ways of gaining vampirism, essentially. And we're going to have to get another misfortune, too. Our clover regeneration is just a little bit too much. Getting more misfortunes means more, um, more everything, honestly. So, let's roll. Another blood amulet is good. That means another blood dagger. That means just overall W. Can I purchase you now? I can sell you for two. That's going to be six. I need three more. I'll sell you. Um, 
And I guess selling a healing herb? Would work? To buy you? And I guess... No, that wouldn't work. Um... Um... Because I need this blood amulet to be touching this blood dagger. For the extra healing. But I also need it to be used to combine the dagger. But then that's not going to have a slot for Mr. Struggles. Which might be fine. Honestly. We could utilize the flute for that instead. And move the... Whopper Tinger somewhere else. Because so we would have to do that. And it potentially just do this. No, no, no. It's got to be like that. Or even get away with doing that. Um, what if we move you here? I don't know. I don't think I like that all too much. Because the flute's got to go somewhere. It's got to go somewhere. We really don't have the space to put it somewhere, though. Um... What if I moved this here and did that, right? Hear me out. Okay, so we're here. And... We did this along with this. So the, the flutes are now inside the birds, which is great. So it's pretty much everything inside the birds. The only thing we're missing now is Gingerbread Jerry and Mrs. Fortune. Which... They could be in the birds. Like here. Essentially. And like here, once that combination goes off, we can move it there. But I think that's fine. Not maxed out, which is not great, but still think that's fine. What is that? You're missing four? You got five slots, move you back by one, you get five still. If I move both of you back by one, you get more slots actually. No, that's five going to five. But at least we unlock that slot in the front, which we can do that, and it's affected by the birds. Okay. And the flutes, two, those are both affected by this bird. Okay. Great. And I can move you there, you're affected. Okay. All right, I think that's better. I think that's better. <laughs> okay, double hammer. Dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Very dangerous, but we improved our survivability. Which is great. Boom. 10 vamp so far. They're in berserker mode now, though. But look at that. Look at our survivability. Plus getting the empowerment, increasing the damage of the daggers, which also increases the amount of vamp they're able to take is good. If we could survive this berserker mode, we win. Which looks like we're going to be able to do. Hell yeah. It's stronger. 100 damage a second there. 9 to 12. 7 to 10. Plus the healing. Let's look at the stats on this. Healing from vamp was 260. 260 healing from vamp, 300 damage. Spikes did a lot too. Oh man, that was great, actually. Now what I would want to get is more misfortunes. More misfortunes means more vampirism. So that's what we need to do. We already got speed, I mean double bird, 80% faster. Plus the, the jewels and everything that's on that. Um, Probably you should get some caps. Or the honestly 20% life steal on hit is probably not great on a dagger since it already doesn't do that much damage. I'd rather have this inside of a cap to increase the healing amplify by 20% if we can manage to get a cap. Honestly, I'll buy you just because you're on sale. Um purchase you, why not? Got a cap. 
I wish I didn't purchase you now, but that's fine. I could just sell you and get the cap real quick. Probably a better play, put you in there. Um, how much gold are we getting? 15? I'll spend seven to get some space. But we do need to find a new misfortune. Busted blade, okay. They also got a gingerbread jerry, but they have nothing in order to feed gingerbread jerry, so they're only benefiting from a 40 maximum health. That's really about it. Other than that, I think we're going to do fine. We just got to watch out for that berserker mode. But if we can uh, build up our vampirism before that happens, we should be straight. And they're in it now. We managed to get 20. is isn't horrible. As long as we can heal it back, all the damage, we should be fine. I don't know how they're critting. I think that thing increases its crit chance. Something is. Crit chance is 65%. Jesus. Either way, it looks like we're taking a W here. Nice. Got up to 38. Not bad. You know what? I'm actually not going to get that. I will get this one, though. Yes, that's exactly what I need. Exactly what I need. Oh, the Knuckle Duster gives crit. Gotcha, gotcha. That actually makes sense. Good looks. Um, I could turn that into a cap of discomfort. We got three rounds left. I also want to get this Blood Amulet to feed into those guys. And I also want to get this DJ Lamp for more Clover generation. Which is going to be expensive for everything. But that's okay. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to purchase you. I'm also going to buy that. Just put in there. Do that instead. And next round, we're going to buy both of those. Hopefully, we'll have the money to. Ooh, a cold build. Never like going against cold builds. Never ever. But maybe we'll be okay. Potentially. So much cold. It's cold. I mean, we got double birdies to combat the speed, at least. Man, and it hurts. This weapon is so strong. 26 versus our... I mean, we got 51 versus their 20, 35, but... Yeah. Sag. Cold bills are nice. We're at 17, 18. Honestly, we could just sell this for 19 and 20. 19, 20. Oh, wait. That was just 19. Damn it. Okay. Boom. All right. Um, What are we moving around? We got to do something like this so that they can do that. Better yet, because that's what two into a three. It'd be better to move you like that and then do that. That way they're both three. So they're both three. I'd say Clover Generation is probably no, no. I don't know actually. I'm gonna put one of you there. You're inside of a bird, and the other one can go here. That way you're inside of both birds. And then we'll put a DJ lamp right here. At least you're in a bird. And I say I, re I, I think our regen generation might be fine. I mean, we're having double Whoppertinger plus this giving us regeneration. I mean, I don't think that's horrible. I'm just put you there, I guess. And that can go there. We can move you back. Um, and I'm going to purchase another cap. Hopefully, we can also get space next round. Because we're going to need it. That is a huge... Don't know why you got the poison there. But that is a huge double axe. This will be interesting. Getting that extra blood uh, dagger, I think, is going to help us a lot, though. <clears throat> Looks like our clover generation might be slacking a little bit. Maybe not, actually. We're at 23. They're still not in Berserker mode yet, though. We gotta watch out for that Berserker mode. And any minute. Berserker mode. But we're at, what, 40 Vampirism already? Look at our healing. We're just healing it back. They're doing, like, what, 42 damage to us? We're just healing it instantly back from our Bloodthorn. 90 critical. Heal it right back. Jesus Christ.
sling hand? <laughs> Talking about that toy hand you get from doctor's offices. Oh my god. Look at that damage. 537 damage on the Bloodthorn. Our healing is 600 vamp healing plus the 138 from that uh from that guy. And then the bloody daggers are 100 each, 112 each. This guy didn't do any extra healing, even with the 15% extra. Probably because they do such less lo low damage. Definitely better off inside of a uh, inside of an armor slot. Good game though. Got another one. That'll be 14. We're not gonna have enough slots for both of them, more than likely. We'll at least be able to put one here. What's the last round? Let's just get rid of the box of riches, honestly. Get rid of the box of riches. Um, I'll roll again. Purchase that last one there. I'll put you right inside of that. Yep. Not the only thing we're slacking on realistically is clover generation. Honestly, we got three of them already. We really don't even need that fourth one. Next round. Well, this is the last round, so never mind. There's no next round. This is awesome. Going against a lightsaber, bloody goobird. Four dragon claws and a power. That is a very strong lightsaber. Why? It's already got seven blind on me. It's only going to last for what? Five seconds? What's my accuracy? 55% accuracy. And the fact that we use our clovers. As long as you're not putting more blind on me, we're fine. Yep, blind goes away. You're doing 8 to 13 damage. You got no activators over here. We're taking this one. I don't care if you're in berserker mode. We're getting, we're taking this one. Give me 50. Give me 50 vamp. I need 50 vamp. Give me 50 vamp. Five more. Two more. Ah, 53. 50 freaking three. I love this build. This build is great. 53 vampirism. 53. Hey, baby girl. Yeah, this build is awesome. This build is awesome. Especially with Gingerbread Jerry being able to just give me regeneration plus the empowerment so that the bloody daggers can do even more healing from the uh, vampirism. It's just great.